G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the south side of the map, playing as the Abbasid Dynasty, it is Don Arty. His opponent who spawns towards the north of the map, playing as the Mongols, it is Salami. Do not be fooled by the name, you will recognize that elephant anywhere. That of course is Salami, the Wallalo King himself. And he's going to be looking to take down that big Don Arty. We of course are on Lipany, a map which is known for its plentiful berries and its minimal cliffs. Uh, but it seems that this game, or this uh, this version of the map has spawned in with quite a few cliffs. Uh, so we'll be looking to see exactly how players try and utilize that one. Now, talking a little bit about this matchup, this is Mongols versus Abbasid. And I think this is a matchup that's definitely begun to develop quite a bit. For anybody unfamiliar with this matchup, back in N4C, which is... Oh, 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 nice, nice. There's a third one down there. Don't tell him, don't tell him. There's a third one down there. So for anybody unfamiliar with this matchup, during N4C, which was a big Age of Empires 4 tournament that happened, $100,000 uh, of, of, uh, of, of good money uh, went into the prize pool for that one. That was over in Germany. Uh, we began to see, see this matchup really develop, and it got to the point where Abbasid were considered the favorite uh, in this scenario. Uh, and so it's continued to develop since then, and subsequently, subsequently uh, we've seen the Mongols become the favorite in in this matchup but we continue kin oh my lord i'm all over the place we continue to see it develop we continue to see it change and i'm looking forward to seeing how don Arty approaches this because previously the way it would have worked is that the mongol player will go for some sort of early aggression and the abbasid player was very capable of defending that early aggression whether it be through early archery range whether it be through an early stable and they'd look to break through any sort of any sort of push that would come they'd always be having a town center advantage and as a result it would mean that they'd have advantage once about the 18th or 18th or 19th minute came as long as they held the push they were fine but one of the reasons why this matchup is a particularly exciting one is because both civs have the ability to build siege out on the battlefield that is correct both the mongols as well as the abbasid dynasty can build mangonels and springlords in the battlefield and that kind of speeds things up a little bit but it is important to note that the role of siege is shifting in the most recent patch, we have seen some nerfs to Siege. In particular, we saw nerfs to the Mangonel. The Mangonel, close to many people's hearts and many, people, many people's losses as well. If you've ever played a team game with some Mangonels, you will know that pain. But uh, long gone are the days uh, of Mangonels one-shotting every single unit in a in a radius around them. Uh, no, they, are, they have been nerfed significantly. And as a result, it means that we are going to be seeing a shift away from Siege. So I'm curious to see exactly how players look to, uh, look to play it. And Don being a little bit dangerous here, I'm not sure exactly what he's doing as uh, he's going to be losing his sheep. In fact, losing both of them here. So this is, uh, this is almost a little bit of an error. You can see actually Don going to be able to find three more sheep up to the north if he's quick, but he's not going to be quick enough because Salami looks to pick it up. And now Don going to be able to pick up one of them, but Salami probably going to be turning his attention towards the rest of these sheep here. There he goes now, trying to take them out. Yo, Khan, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Khan, just a little bit clueless. The Khan can actually f fire and shoot, but in this situation, it seems like he forgot how to move. It it's it's that classic. You, you don't, you've ever had that friend where you're like, you're at the mall and one of them is, he needs to drink. And so he's like, oh, can we stop for a second? I need to drink. And it's like, can't, can't, can't you drink and walk? And he's like, no, I got to stop. Like, it's the same kind of thing. Like, the Khan's like, oh, no, I, I got to stop. I got to stop, man. But uh, back back in the base now of Don, we see he's going up with the economic wing. Also see the mill gathering up or, or researching that wheelbarrow. And uh, and now back towards... Uh, we'll check in on his opponent's side. Indeed, we have the silver tree coming up. The silver tree is coming up for Salami. So this is, this is going to be an interesting development. How does he look to play this one out? Because silver tree has been one of those things that was tested. And the issue is that the silver tree, it is a landmark that is very capable of helping out your early trade, but it kind of makes you a little bit vulnerable because all of this area is going to be open because you, you need to be trading somewhere. You can't just have your traders going nowhere. Uh, so even if, if if you take your traders uh, and, and move them over towards this position, they are open to raids. That is the big thing. And Don Arty scouting out that silver tree. We did see him run past in this position. He spots out the silver tree. Um, he is going to know exactly what is coming. And as a result, it means he can invest heavily into horsemen, look to invest heavily into camel archers, and look to try and take control of his enemy's trade route before it even begins. Now, one of the other things to notice for the Abbasid Dynasty, you can see these berry patches, only 350 out of 250. Now, for anybody unfamiliar with the way that the berry patches work, 
they start off at 250 out of 250. And every time you eat a little bit of berries, it goes down. It starts going down. But the Abbasid Dynasty, as well as the Delhi Sultan, get this advantage from their mills. Whenever they drop a mill next to their berry patches, it goes up. It used to go up to 500. Uh, so essentially they'd get 500, but now it's been nerfed. It's down to 350 because it was deemed a little bit too strong. Horseman now going to be coming out, looking to chase away the Khan of his opponent. Don now looking to add in an archery range as well. So sticking with a build order that we do know him for. It is the one base Abbasid build order. He'll be looking to add in his second TC, probably around the eight minute, nine minute mark. We'll eventually see him beginning to move over to stone, but he'll be looking to get out onto the map, look to do a bit of damage uh, before his opponent can really get the trade off. And you can see he's already making his way over here as the outpost begins to go down. And the outposts here is, are really going to help out with these traders. Now, when it comes to the traders, we can see that there are none out yet at this point in time, but village are going to be under pressure horsemen as well as a scout going to be looking to do damage here two more villagers going to be moving out into the, this position it's imperative that he gets this outpost down it's going to be able to keep all of this area safe one villager going to be do it, moving around going to be trying to keep it alive and salami managing to do it it still gets the outpost up so very well done it was never going to be a doubt post not an outpost like that loses one villager another villager goes down very low on health but he gets the outpost up now we see arrow slits coming through for him as well Arrow Slit's going to enable him great coverage in this position. And we can see, look at the resources that Salami's got in the bank right now. He's got a huge amount of resources that are in the bank. And we see him drop down double stable in response to this. Now, his opponent, playing the Abbasid Dynasty, is highly likely to be going into a composition of Camel Archers and Horsemen. But indeed, we do see Archers coming out instead here for Don. So going into a, more, a composition that's heavy on cavalry, so just going only cavalry in this scenario could be a good thing for Salami. So let's look to see how he plays it. Still note that there is no trade coming out just yet at this point in time. Don Arty actively around the map, moving to try and stop any potential trade that's coming out. Now we see the Silver Tree packing up. Heading into a bit more of a safe position in this scenario. Looking to have a bit of a clearer route. Not not looking to, to have any sort of uh, shenanigans with units, but going to be looking to get those double traders out. Let's see what he does. You can see he's actually going for a castle age. This is... Is this a bait? Is this a bait by Salami? Is Salami baiting? Is this the greatest trade bait I've ever seen? Salami's actually going castle. Like, unironically, Salami's going castle. Is he baiting? He... So he's going Silver Tree. So I think that the, the thing was right. If, if he goes Silver Tree, they just die. They just die to Don because he's got more presence. He's got more more power. But if you just go Silver Tree right now, I, 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 I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm trying to work through it in my head. It makes sense though. Horseman going to be coming out to the gold mine, jumping inside those villagers do. And immediately we are going to see arrow slits coming in as well. Uh, and those Aris going to be able to slowly and steadily pick off the uh, the units below. But Don now on the front is, uh, is wow, huge, huge amount of forces beginning to move in for Don. He's got horsemen, he's got archers, he's got a battering ram out here as well. We saw the, the Silver Tree actually doing a little bit of trading there. He's looking to try and get up to that next stage. Double stable coming out, but moving it to the front line. Salami might be under a little bit of pressure here. Uh, and uh, when I say a little bit, I'm, I'm talking about a lot. We see those... Set, uh, stables coming down in that position. Uvu going to be going down here as well. A little bit questionable play from Salami. Is he trying to distract his opponent? What is the thought process behind this? I wish I knew. Khan now coming out. Going to be able to find a couple couple of horsemen. Brings it back. Khan, don't go, don't, don't go down, Khan. Indeed, he does go down. Age up coming through now as well for Salami. And I think he was definitely going for a bait, but Don seems to have called his bluff. Not only do we see the battering rams come out, but we also see the archers come out. So a nice little composition coming in here for him, just anticipating that there might be Mangadite out. And now those archers, or rather those uh, stables, are going to be heading back towards the base. A very curious decision in the first place. Not sure why it happened. And now a sheep comes out. Don't do it, Don. Don't do it, Don. Don't do it, Don. Why are you going to do it like that, Don? Damn it, Don. We talked about this, man. Don't kill the sheep. There's, a, there's an important role for sheep in every economy, and you've just gone and ruined the day, Don. I can't believe you. But uh, now back towards Don Artie's base. You can see him sitting there floating exactly 300 stone. He drops down that second TC, 9 minutes and 20 seconds, and he is all business behind this because the main thing that he's got to be concerned about is the fact that there is an H3 coming up. But now Don knows that an H3 is here. What's he? How does he react? That's going to be the question. Does he look to go H3 himself? Does he look to go for camels? And camels could definitely be the play in this scenario. And we can see he's quite intent at this point in time in just, just chilling out for the moment. Villagers, they move to gold. Immediately, we can see the reaction from Don Arty. He says, okay, you've gone castle. I will now react with my own castle. So he's got a second town center rallying to gold. 
He's got plenty of villagers out on food, out on the map. He's managed to siege down this fine, this landmark, the Silver Tree. Hasn't even brought back in this landmark. So Salami going to be losing this landmark at this point in the game. Now, this isn't a big impact for him. He wasn't really doing much with this landmark to begin with. Uh, but now the rest of the army going to continue uh, uh, moving towards the base of Salami. He's trying to... What is Salami doing at this point? Salami's found a new home. He's moved in over towards the north side of the map and going to be going for double Lancer. I do like this play. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, typically, you'd be going for a Men at Arms play in this position, but Lancer makes sense as well. Going to be very helpful uh, at uh, trying to get back into the game because that is the thing, right? How do you get back into the game? You've lost so much at this point. You, you've, you've almost... You were playing rock, paper, scissors and your enemy came like prepared with dynamite and it just got worse from there. All the villagers on the gold mine, they're gone. Salami looking terrible. Is there any way that he comes back into this game? Yes, there is. It's going to be through raids. And so we can see here that he's got the lances. So he needs to stop this from happening. I mean, the battering ram's doing work. Nice little block coming through there from the step redoubt. But uh, village is going to be here ready to, to drop down on that at a moment's notice. We'll look to see exactly how his opponent plays at Salami now. Really beginning to struggle as villagers enter inside the town center. Khan finally comes back out. A couple lances going to be in here to clean it up. You can see village is going to be going down. These guys don't have their textile upgrade, nor do they have their improved textiles upgrade as the uh, as the mongols do get and now salami on 31 villagers at this point in time compared to his opponent on 40 lance is looking to clean everything up if there's ever been a way back into this game it's got to be starting with an l and that is the lances and now all the villagers coming out going to be able to siege down that battering ram it was never really a threat to begin with lance is doing a great job of stopping this attack and now don is on the back foot but remember don is going to the castle age don looking to age up now with the culture wing He's going to be on the receiving end of a very large mass of lances. And this is exactly how Salami gets back into the game. So at this point in the game, Salami's got 30 villagers. He's got 30 villagers on food. It is a lot of villagers at this point. We can see that he's got a whole bunch up here as well. He'll be looking to get villagers out towards this step redoubt. We can see they'll be moving out there very shortly as he's actually building a couple pastures here. He's fearful. He's fearful about moving out at this point. But at the same time, he knows that the game is his. The world is his oyster at this point in time. All he has to do is cause meaningful damage to his opponent. Opponent. And let's take a look and see if Don's able to do that. In in the transition period, Don should be making sure that he is getting out uh, camel archers. He should be looking to get out spearmen as well because he's going to need some sort of uh, mass of infantry, some sort of mass of units to actually try and deal with this raid. And now you can see Salami coming through. He's bringing in the six lances. He's got the Khan here as well. He's going to be spotting out villagers and you can see he's looking. He's in his intent. Villagers now get spotted out. The Khan are there. Salami puts the, the metal to the pedal, the pedal to the metal, and now begins to take out the villagers. Indeed, the villagers are beginning to struggle. Salami finding a beautiful juicy raid here. One, two villagers beginning to go down. There's going to be seven that make their way back to the town center. We've got that, that uh, technology here, uh, the textiles, it's going to be buffing up their HP, their health points a little bit more. And now Salami, he sits idle underneath the town center. Castle Age has reached for Don Arty. Not a lot of units out for him. And now he's starting to get a little bit worried. Don Arty going to be in trouble, getting caught with his pants down once again. Not the first time for Don. Definitely won't be the last as the villagers make their way back towards the main town center. But at the same time, the Khan is in here. He pops off that movement speed arrow. And now the Lancers are mo popping off at 2.16 movement speed, cleaning up everything that they can. And Don Arty's village account begins to tumble, begins to fall as all the villagers start dying right now to this massive raid that's coming through from Salami. Salami looking incredibly good and at the same time just trying to find a way back into this game. Two more Lancers coming in to help out with the action. Don Arty really starting to struggle. Just when you thought that Don Arty had all the tricks up his sleeve, it turns out his sleeve was cut off and he was actually running a no sleeve shirt. Don, I can't believe you do us like this, but uh now, all of a sudden, it's really getting turned around. Let's check in with Salami, see how he's doing. He is doing absolutely fine. Look at his economy. He is moving. He is shaking. He's having a great time. He's got double Lancer production. Everything is going well for Salami. He continues to rally down towards the base of Don. Don trying his best to clean up here. All those spears getting taken out before they can even get their spears off right now. And Don is just looking like he's, uh, like he's wishing he never started this game. 42 villagers at the moment, 21 of which are idle. Uh, and if you've, if you've ever played Age of Empires 3, you'll know Taunt 21. And I can't help but feel the Taunt 21 for Don Arty right now. Uh, it's not looking pretty, despite considering how it started. Villagers, villagers, villagers. Oh no, Don Arty going to be in trouble here as Salami once again catching all of the villagers. And a little bit of a, a missed micro there, I'd almost feel like. The villagers just running so fast with that wheelbarrow. And now finally we start to see crossbows coming out. Lancers as well coming out for, for Don Arty. 
Town Center going to be firing down upon them. And now Donati tries to stabilize. I think he might have done it. There's only two Lancers that remain for his opponent. But now we begin to see more Lancers coming in underneath the Town Center. But they do make their way back out. Has enough damage been done? Is Salami back in this game? We'll do a quick stock take and then we'll provide you an answer. At this point in time, Salami sits on 40... Or rather, Donati sits on 43 villagers with six military. On the other side of the map, 40 military. Well, 40 economic units right now for Salami. And only a handful of military, but that is all he needs. I would... I am... I'm willing to say that at this point, Salami has found a way back into this map match. So very well done to him. A, a new Khan has risen. So the question is, from here, how does Salami look to play it? And I think he's doing the right thing. The only real thing that I would do different is maybe look to scout out the map, try and find where Don is actually uh, looking to gather up resources. So I, I would honestly even get a scout out at this point uh, from one of your stables and then just look to go and scout out because you take a look behind these black spots, I guarantee you, there's villagers. You take a look behind these black spots, like there, there could be a lot of stuff. I mean, he spots out these berries, but it's mainly, you know, th there's more berries here. But uh, there's a lot of villagers that he could be poking. That's 20 villagers. You know, we, we've seen Don Arty with his pants down multiple times today. This could be like the final nail in the coffin. So it's imperative that he understands exactly where his enemy is gathering and tries to look to hit those points. We'll see how he goes about doing it, though. Now beginning to transition. We see that the double uh, double barracks as well as an archery range coming out and we hear those relics being picked up. So the shaman making his way back in and oh my lord, is that shaman moving slowly? Oh, indeed he is. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the nerf that came through on monks also came through on the shaman. I didn't think that would happen. I genuinely didn't. I was like, nah, the developers are Mongol mains. They won't nerf the shaman. They nerfed the shaman. There you go. I mean, it's a nerf, but it's also a buff. But at the same time, I think it's not even really a nerf or a buff. It, it just makes it a little bit... It makes it fairer, right? Because it enables your monks to move out. Like, your monks are much faster now. 1.29 movement speed. You can see these guys are fast, boys. Because uh, they got that YAM network as well. But once they start carrying the relic, that's when it's like, Ooh, it's heavy. Ooh, it's heavy. You know, ooh, like that kind of thing, right? But now Salami beginning to move out over the map. He's once again looking for villagers. You can see the way he's got his Khan together with those knights. It's really going to help it out. But now Salami going to be getting caught out of position. A couple of men at arms as well as a crossbow getting caught by Don's massive army. Uh, that is, uh, that's not the first time Don's had a massive... Uh, I'll just leave it there. Uh, okay. Don now pushing out a lot of lances in this scenario, uh, but now, ideally, you'd like to see crossbows beginning to come out. Salami making a little bit of a mistake here. Ideally, need to get those Springled Emplacement. Springled Emplacement gonna help him out a huge amount here. So, just dropping down another outpost here. Get that... Spr oh, look at that! Springled Emplacement coming in straight away. Correct decision. And then, from this position, a Springled Emplacement is gonna force Don Arty to do one of two things. Number one, fall back. Number two, Attack. And... It, <laughs> thanks, Strongo. Don Arty can either win the game or he can lose the game. Or the game can be drawn in a stalemate. Those are his options. What will he look to do? Uh, but now Don going to be just attacking, committing here uh, to this... Uh, this uh, outpost does take it down. Very well, well done from him. And a bit of a raid coming back down now. Don Arty actually losing multiple villagers on the wood line. Apologies for not picking this up sooner. Don sitting on 56 villagers at the moment. Also going to be picking up reinforcements. The Khan doing a great job of backing these units up. You can see he's recently popped off that attack speed arrow. Now back towards the front. Don going to continue sieging down this silver tree. Once we saw it down on the ground the second time, it's going to be coming shortly. But uh, a quick stock take reveals 58 economic units for Don and his opponent 49. So still a bit of a villager lead for Don Arty. But keep in mind, he does not have uh, Abbasid villagers. He's got the good ones. He's got the Mongol villagers. These guys, the best in the game, baby. The best in the game. And Silver Tree going to be running away as fast as it can. And unfortunately, the wheels are going to fall off right now. Scout goes down. Don going to be successfully taking down that, that uh, landmark. And more villagers now heading in underneath the town center. They're going to be jumping inside. Villagers, are they repairing? I think they're repairing. Those villagers are repairing. Instead of jumping inside, he's got to get them inside, unfortunately. And now at the same time, another raid on the backside. You can see Don starting to suffer in multiple areas. And at the same time, look at this. Salami just coming in from all angles. He's trying his best. We see the veteran archers now coming out from Salami as well. And really is holding on. But Don doing a great job of, uh, of really just distracting, repelling. He's hitting villagers on the gold mine, attacking the front line. At the same time, defending the wood line. He needs to get walls up. But you know what? The, you know what Don Arty's middle name is? No walls. He actually got given two middle names. He's one of the, he's from a family that gives their fam their, their children two middle names. Don't be that guy. Don't be the guy with two middle names. And Don Artie's one of those guys. No walls. Don No Walls Artie. That is his name. Um, and he loves to do the No Wall Challenge. You know, the No Wall Challenge started with GUA back in Age of Empires three days. Uh, but it seems like it's really began to to grow quite a following uh, when it comes to Age of Empires four. 
and uh, and he continues to push it. Don a large a large no wall challenge. Uh, a large no wall challenge. Uh, what would I say, proprietor? <laughs> I don't even know. Like an enthusiast, no wall enthusiast. Uh, but now we see that uh, we see a little bit of a push beginning to come out here from Salami as well. He's lost his entire uh, front standing here. You can see that he was trying to get up that outpost, but the the, the spring on emplacement just came a little bit too late. He didn't add in the second spring or the second uh, outpost quick enough, and as a result, loses that. But now down towards the south, I don't know how many villagers died down here, but I suspect it was a lot because, <laughs> in fact, it doesn't look like any actually died. Uh, but Don still got to be aware of that. Now villager moving out to the middle of the map, and outpost was going to be going down for Don. Uh, not going to be the case though, as it does get. Force back, and now we see archers. Another relic getting picked up, and a sacred site going to be taken here from Salami as well. Villagers dropping off towards that mill. And now back towards the base, we see another Springwood emplacement coming through. Under attack on the front. No upgrades coming through for Don at this point in time. No upgrades coming through for Salami just yet either. Both players playing without... Uh, I was going to say without arsenals. Both players playing without blacksmiths. And a huge amount of... Uh, of archers now coming out for uh, for Salami. He manages to realize that the sp the spearmen are going to be coming out for his opponent. So he's just going to be going into archers. And now Don Artie going to be struggling. He's losing villagers on the uh, on the berry patch here. He could be looking to uh, to actually take out a bit more, but no, not going to commit to it. He does have the potential to wallalol back here. We'll watch to see if we spot a wallalol coming out from a sal from Salami. I wouldn't be surprised as now the Lancer begins to try and do some damage. I suspect it's going to be happening. Sacred Sight's getting taken. Wallalol's happening all over the map. I think it's just this one back towards uh, the, the fight. And indeed, the Relic does go down. The Khan has also been killed. We heard it go down in battle. And all of these units are going to get cleaned up. So Don looking good. He's got the Spearman crossbow combo. It's the counter cavalry combo. It's very difficult to deal with. And at the same time, it's very good against, you know, compositions like this, Mass Archer. You can see it just doing so much damage. And you would expect Mass Archer to win, but not, a, not for Don. Don is the kind of guy he wins with unit counters that don't work. But now Don slowly climbing up in Villager County. He's on 43. Must have been another big raid coming in from Salami. I'm not sure exactly where it was. I apologize for missing it. And now we begin to see the trade. So we have got ourselves the Silver Tree. So for anybody unfamiliar... Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see what he's doing. So for anybody unfamiliar with how the Silver Tree works, the Silver Tree gives you a discount on the amount of or you, you are spending on your traders. So a normal trader uh, would cost... I think it's 175 I want to say. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it gives you a discount. So you're not spending a huge amount on trading. Uh, but uh, we, we can check it here. Uh, so it gives you a 50% reduced gold cost. So that's where it's coming from. So 75. Uh, it's normal, normally 75, 75 for a trader. Uh, now it's 75 and 37. So helps you out. But I mean, if you're a trader right now, I mean, as as the as the Mongols, at this point in time, you've kind of... You've got enough gold. I mean, we just saw him do a whole bunch. It also acts as a market. I guess that's cool. Uh, so that'll be nice. But now archers together. Uh, going to be looking to hold on to this position. The men at arms going to be careful. No no upgrades still yet coming out from the blacksmith. A beautiful, beautiful little base. A beautiful Mongol base beginning to be built up now from Salami. Uh, but at the same time, Don going to continue st to struggle to push in towards this. Those archers, once they start building up, going to be very difficult to deal with. But uh, 11 men at arms going to be coming out. Now another raid going to be coming through. Don losing another villager. Reinforcements going to get picked up here. Spearmen going to be trying to get in on the action as well. Not going to be so lucky. Unfortunately, those units turn back around and now the Lancer's going to be looking to come down on the villagers. One villager is going to go down. Second villager going to be going down. All the villagers... No, wait. Wait a minute. Th none of those villagers went down. A little bit of a mistake right there from Salami. He could have picked up both of those villagers, but instead gets out, loses a whole bunch of lances, and he's got nothing to show for it. The poor guy, the poor guy. But now Don looking to get that spring on emplacement on his outpost. Try and defend it a little bit better. Now look at the line of sight that's beginning to build for Don. He's starting to feel more confident. He's moving out over the map, unable to take the ball because he's playing the Abbasid Dynasty. These guys unable to take the ball, uh, but uh, are able to take the berries. So it is always going to be an option. Now you could always like do a nice little wall, wall yourself in potentially. Uh, but he is moving out towards this northern position, and you can see Don put a build out on the berries. He is a berry enjoyer right now, Don Adi is, and we got ourselves a bit of a battle beginning to break out in the middle of the map as the camels look to try and take out the, uh, the, the men at arms, but at the same time, the spearmen are doing such a great job of providing that screen at the same time. Look at the villagers. Oh no, villagers for Don Adi do get picked up. Crossbow's going to be looking to focus down that. Khan, Khan pops off that attack speed arrow. Going to be buffing up that area of effect, but now the archer's going to have to fall back as they're fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat against the spears together with the men at arms. The camel's coming around, and the crossbow's looking to try and take out the remain remaining uh, army that is here for Salami, but unfortunately, Salami's going to have to walk away with his tail between his legs because... 
Don Artie is victorious right now. Don Artie is looking to push. He's looking to try and take control of this situation and also looking to take the berries of his opponent. Very, very nice berries coming out there from Don. And really, this big push going to be coming in. How does Salami even look to hold at this point? The only way I can think that he could hold would be <laughs> sprinkled in placements. <laughs> it's the only thing that I've got in my mind. I'm like, oh, he's got to have outposts. Six outposts with sprinkled in placements. That'll do it. No, Drongo. That is not what's going to do it. Now, Don Artie once again going to be pushing in underneath the town center of Salami. We've seen it multiple times this game. Will we see it finally? Will we see the last nail in the coffin being put in here for Salami? Salami continues to struggle. He's on 69 population at the moment compared to 101 from Don. And Don very happily underneath the town center. But no real way to finish this game off. If I'm Don right now, I'm thinking about dropping a ram. I'm, a, a ram. I'm thinking about dropping a mangonel. I want to find some kind of way that I can siege, that I can tank up all of this town center fire. And that's exactly what he does. They're now looking to get that ram down. We see more men at arms beginning to come out as well as archers looking to come out. The camel's going to be overextending into the trade line. Trade is somewhat being caught uh, in, in a bit of the, a bit of the fight. Khan going to be out here as well. You can see it getting buffed or rather debuffed uh, because of the camel unease that is nearby. So that is correct. Uh, the, the camels spit on the horse and reduce its damage. But now battering ram a little bit confused about the direction it wants to go gonna be he heading over towards the outpost with the spring on emplacement three relics sitting inside the monastery monastery gonna be zooming on out of there look at it go it is out of here it is like out of here like nobody's business <laughs> look at that thing go if you could pack up that outpost you would be packing up that outpost second battering ram now gonna be coming down as well here for don Artie. and don looking to put the hurt onto salami salami now cleaning up the the little bit of a raid back towards this position we can see the oh my hello look at those traders 180 gold on those those bad boys that is a big boy trade if you can make those traders stick i tell you what you can do something you can do something real impressive trader gonna be making his way down 1.15 movement speed crossbows looked intent but uh, they will eventually be outrun by the trader um so now mangonel gonna be coming down you can see how long it takes to make this mangonel long gone are the days where the mangonel came up super duper quickly now it just takes a little bit longer you can see probably about what 10 15 seconds there before that mangonel comes up trader gets one shot terrible damage and now Don Artie looking to try and take control of this position. You can see the Mangonel shot coming off almost laughably uh, towards that position. Mangonel also going to be getting sieged down by the men at arms on the front, but they get cleaned up now by Don. Don doing a great job at the same time underneath the food economy of his opponent. Now Lance is looking to clean that up. Mangonel shots firing off. Nice little splits coming in through from, from his opponent. Salami doing a great job of holding. Lance is going to be coming out as well, and I think this might get cleaned up once again for the second time today. Don Artie getting cleaned up underneath the town center of his opponent. A little bit of an overextension. He tried to finish the game early failed he tried to finish it in the mid game we're at 27 minutes it's failed once again does salami go on to win this game who knows how this game ends because right now it is anybody's game at this point in time salami doing a great job to keep his head above water and at the same time i mean don just looking incredibly good that's that's the big thing don just floating 1.3k wood right now taking a leaf out of my book it seems don Arty is but uh yeah th this is a classic drongo move right here 1300 floated wood he'll be moving to farm soon don't worry about it guys you see that, that he, he's saving that wood up for a rainy day don't worry he, he'll, he'll do something important with it soon i promise you yeah there you go there you go he just moved yeah <laughs> there you go that that's that's why that's why we float so much wood it's good to float wood it helps your farm transition guys it helps the farm transition but now crossbow versus crossbow there's there's so few siege that's coming out here and I gotta say, I like it. It's actually looking a little bit better. We saw a single mangonel come out. You saw that there was a, a, a response to it, right? But like, it, it's only against those big siege balls that you, or those big infantry balls that you're actually gonna see it. And now the knight comes in. I mean, we've we've almost we've seen every single unit this game except for the camel rider. I'm pretty sure we've seen every single unit come out this game except for the camel rider. Actually, we haven't seen the springwood. We haven't seen the trebuchet yet. Uh, we haven't seen the mangonel. Okay, all right. Okay, maybe there's a few units we haven't seen yet. But we are seeing a wide variety of units. We're not seeing... Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do it. No. Uh, change perspective. Quick, Drongo. Get him, Bitey Wolf. Get him, Bitey Infantry. Get him. So, what What haven't we seen? We haven't seen a siege wall. We haven't seen the trench be built yet. Uh, and that's kind of interesting. Like, normally in, in a, a matchup like this, you would see a trench getting built. So, what's a trench? A trench is where you would build outposts in the middle of the map like this. And then you would get emplacements on them. And then you would put trebuchets underneath them. And then slowly push your enemy down. But we don't see that. Because the Manganel got nerfed. 
And so there's no incentive to protect. Normally you would have those sprinkled emplacements to protect the mangonels. And that if your enemy tried to dive on those mangonels, that you would just look to repair them and that you would try and keep them alive and that they would be bleeding units the entire time because of the sprinkled emplacements. But we don't see that there. So was the mangonel nerf actually decent? I mean, we can definitely see it's changed these early game compositions. We're at 20 mi 29 minutes into the game. Both of these civs has the option to build siege out on the field. And yet we've only seen a single mangonel coming out. So... Maybe it begs the question, was it actually a decent change that came out from the developers? Oh, a lot of people, including myself, not big fans of the way that the Manganel was nerfed. Uh, but it seems like it's been a pretty decent change so far, at least just looking at this fight, this battle. It's been a lot of infantry, not a lot of, you know, th th there's been barely any siege at this point. It's just been heavy infantry numbers, a lot of cavalry as well. I mean, cavalry serves a purpose. It's very mobile. It's moving around the map. It's raiding. It's doing damage. It's getting into fights as well. And now Don going to be suffering. Once again, you can see he's getting these emplacements. These are what we were talking about, the emplacements. Uh, so now looking to get triple sprinkled emplacement in this scenario. And Don once again coming in. So he he's looking to hold onto this area. So how do you clear this area? Well, then it comes back to the trebuchet. But if you make a trebuchet without sprinkled emplacements nearby, then potentially uh, you are going to get dove. And that is not something that you want to be doing. Dove, you, you're going to get dived. I don't know exactly what the correct term is uh, in that scenario, but I feel like dove is, is the appropriate word. Uh, but now Don Artie looking to aggress upon his opponent once again as the uh, the spear is getting a great connection and we can see that uh, the men at arms continue to move in from the north at the same time Khan got to be careful here not to take his own life uh, by by heading in towards these sprinkled emplacements but now Salami I mean I don't think he can push in towards this position because of the sprinkled emplacement that's really what's going to be doing the damage every single time that sprinkled emplacement fires off it's doing damage take a look at these units see the, the damage that comes out he's just he's bleeding units constantly going to be losing them constantly fighting up against it. Now the spring placement just continuing to do work. Don going to be able to hold from this position. A nice attempt here uh, by his opponent, Salami, but at the same time, I don't know whether it's going to be enough. You can see the horseman going to be coming in, but there's enough spears here to deal with it. Spring on placement is going to be able to take it as well. And it looks like Don going to continue pushing forward with more and more emplacements, more and more outposts on these bad boys. He is pushing forward very hard, very heavily. And now from for the from the perspective of his opponent, he needs to get a keep out. He need or not a keep out, sorry, a, uh, a trebuchet out. The trebuchet is what's going to enable him to actually take this down. And he's going to continue to struggle with it until he does. But now pushing in Don Hardy, looking to try and finish the game. Once again, Don falling in underneath the base of his opponent. We see a siege workshop coming out from for him. Salami still yet to get that improved siege engineering at this point. So he's going to have to train siege the old-fashioned way. The good old-fashioned way that six out of the eight civilizations have to do it. But now back towards the north, we can see that that spring of emplacement going to be coming through shortly. Salami trying his best to siege this down before it can really be too much of an issue. If it gets into this trading line, though, that's where it's going to be a real problem because that spring of emplacement is going to be coming out. It's going to be one-shotting all of these traders. I mean, not one shotting it's going to be two shotting but still it's going to be doing a lot of damage and it's going to shut down his trading economy quite significantly and he's got a fair few traders out here he's got a fair few traders out here but now that mass sitting very happily on top of the hill how does how does salami look to clear that out and you can see he's going for mangonels as his response if there's a unit that can get you back into the game it's the mangonel at least it used to be the mangonel it doesn't seem like that way anymore. The Mangonel no longer seems like the unit to make to try and get yourself back into a game. In fact, the Mangonel seems like the unit that you need to deal with a large mass of infantry. And we can see there's a pretty decent mass that's beginning to build now for Salami. A good shot coming out there. Not a bad shot coming out. Village is getting pulled. I don't think Don's really paying attention. Salami is going to get another shot off. Don not pulling it and paying attention again. Uh, manages to just really scratch a couple of units. And now up towards the north. And we can see that Don has completely outposted up this position. And it has become very evident that the outpost is too strong. Uh, to me, this is like, yep, this is definitely... I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not. Don's sitting on 109 villages, 58 military, compared to Salami, who's on 75 villages, uh, but uh, only on 18. Was it 21 military now for him? Uh, so slowly he's making his way back into the game. He's got the Mangadels out. But remember, the Mangadels are going to be incredibly uh, difficult to deal with uh, on the condition that they're actually, uh, they're actually hitting their shots. With regard to the crossbows, we have quite literally a crossbow mass here. So... I'm, I'm expecting... Is Donati going to look to make Springholds? He might look to make Springholds. And if he does, then... Okay, he, he just wins the game. Crossbows plus Springholds. What what beats Crossbows plus Springholds? I mean, you could probably go Horseman. Horseman would do pretty, uh, pretty effectively in that situation. Salami in trouble. He was looking to trade down towards this south side. You can see he'd got a whole bunch of outposts up as well. Villagers going to be jumping inside that outpost and keep going up. Don Artie just leaving the villagers. He's like, you know what? I'll catch you later. I'll catch you later, fool. I'll catch you later. 
And now in the middle of the map, Manganel's beginning to move out. Don Artie, I don't think he's aware. The first shot comes in. Second shot going a little bit wide. Third shot. Great little dodges right there from Don Artie. He started stepping right now like a football player. Moving in and out with beautiful precision. Great timing there from the Don. 54 crossbows right now for Don. I have never seen a more juicy target for some Manganels. Are we looking to see these Manganels do some real damage? That is the question. But now Don is taking over the entire map. You can see he's really struggling. Salami is. Uh, and uh, now some more rage is going to be coming in from Don more units being rallied down towards this position. You can see the gold vein ready with the step red out on it. At the same time up towards the north, all of the all of the traders going to be going out. Look at the trade coming through from here. What what are these traders even doing? He was intent on trading at this trade post, but unfortunately not going to be the case. And now in the middle of the map, Don looking to neutralize the site. Rather, Salami looking to neutralize the site, sacred site. The Don and Court not going to be the case. What kind of upgrades are we talking about for Don right now? He's got plus two upgrades on everything except for melee armor. A bit of a raid coming back over here. Don once again looking to get those outposts up with sprinkled emplacements. Just being a little bit of a memer at this point in time. Look at the sprinkled emplacements on the these outposts. He is going absolutely ham with this. Villagers getting thrown away. And look at the spring on placement. Just trading out so effectively. Keep in mind, each one of these units, 120 resources. It only cost him 250 resources to make this sprinkled emplacement outpost. So it's really something to think about. You know, when it comes to the cost investment that you're making on this outpost, it, it is a very uh, small amount uh, for, for so much area that it controls. Now Springwood's coming out in response. Don not even looking to engage those mangonels head on. Bunch of battering or bu bunch of uh, men at arms still here for Salami. It's not looking pretty for him at this time, but he's got more armored units that are coming out at the same time under attack up towards the north. Don now beginning to 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 just chill out. He's got sprinkles that he's adding in. Keep in mind this is his third sprinkled here. This should be enough to one shot uh, any Manganel uh, presence that's out on the field. He's got Manganels uh, and men at arms that he's going to be going up against. He's got mass crossbows and sprinkles. And so in this position, how does Don? even lose this. Oh, spring on emplacement over from the right. Don got to be careful here. He's walking himself into a little bit of a dangerous position. Spring on emplacements everywhere. Now it looks like his opponent is going to be looking to try and siege up those sprinkles. He's trying to keep them alive. Crossbows coming into cover for them. At the same time from behind, we've got a, ourselves a bit of a landmark coming through. Manganel's moving forward. The first sprinkled goes down. Second sprinkled also going to be going down. Triple Manganel going to be coming out looking for a position. Not going to be able to find it just at this point. Manganel's moving forward slowly, steadily, tracking their opponent. Don going to have to think about another play, another position potential way that he can fight this. Manganel's not at all interested in turn their way back towards the center of the map. And I love the way that the step red out came in. It just came in and just just came in to say good day. That was really it. But now Don Arty on the sacred side. He's taken one sacred side so far. He takes a second sacred side. He's looking for one of those sacred side victories. Not really. Not really. I mean, he could though. Uh, he's, he's in a great position. He's sitting on 125 villages at this point in time. 75 military production. He's got a great economy. He's going Imperial at this point in time. And now going to be looking to get his Imperial upgrades ahead of the enemy Mongol player. Now keep in mind, Salami only on 69 villages. I've got no co-caster, so you guys know I've got to say it. Nice. Uh, but now a little bit of a push going to be coming through the middle. Once again, Siege Workshop coming down here for Salami. He's going to be looking to reinforce on the front line. A lot of units in production. Seven men at arms, 12 crossbows. So Salami looking to... How much production have we got for Salami at this point? 10 production buildings? I feel like it's probably not enough. Uh, but now Don Arty coming in from the east side. Salami lying in wait. Look at this. Salami lying in wait. It could be the world's... Oh, that, 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 is, that is a lot. That is, that is a lot of lances. Manganel's firing off, revealing their position. Revealing their position, firing off on the lances. Nice little choke point here at the front. Don beginning to split up on the back line. Don doing a great job. We enter into the cinematic mode as the, as the Manganels begin moving forward. Don trying. Manganels getting a nice little hit on the back line. Don not splitting up at this point in time. He's trying. He's doing his marine splits. But at the same time, Crossbow is just taking out so many of these units. And now the Manganels barely even able to get their shots out just because of the beautiful little hold. And now a fifth Manganel going to be coming around, turning on towards the Crossbows here of his opponent. But all the Crossbows managed to survive. All of the Lancers now turning their attention towards the Manganels. And ladies and gentlemen... I don't think I've ever seen a good game like that one. That was swings absolutely everywhere, but Don appears to be... Oh, no! Don Arty! <laughs> careful, Don! Careful! Playing with absolute fire there. I think he lost about six crossbows in that position. So many units in here. You know, when I see the way that these units are damaged, the, ki the Abbey of Kings is like an actual landmark. I'm like, you know what? That might not have actually be a bad landmark. If you had an Abbey of Kings up the front here, healing up all your units, that'd be pretty sick. But now Don... You're going to be applying pressure towards the front. And I think that's a tap out. 
No, that's not a tap out. That's a new age beginning. Don Artie reaches the Imperial Age. We just hear the, the uh, Imperial Age being reached right there. That's a tap out. That is a tap out right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is the game. Don Artie victorious. Salami, not so much. But I got to tell you, this new patch, I mean, it's looking pretty good. I've got to be honest with you guys. Everything looking pretty good so far. Was the Manganel nerf too much? Let me know in the comments what you think down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one.